Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Paradise, in Victoria 2, also playing as the United States of America right now. Right now though, right now. There's a crisis in the world, where uh, the UK wants Lithuania to get all of its cores from the Russian Empire, who's being backed by the Dutch. The incredibly strong 8th place Dutch. But... The UK is also backed by Austria-Hungary, so it is what it is, and Germany is very strongly inclined to help the Russians. Also, we are currently trying to go to war with Chile because, well, we're just doing American things here, making all of the Americas great. So, this crisis is incredibly important. Now, we can't go to war or support either side of these groups yet. My goal, though, like I said, is to take out Canada. And to take out Canada, we got to take out the UK. If we can dismantle the UK, make Canada... Canadian, and independent pretty much, we need to dismantle the UK and break them. Basically break them. Germany would become the, probably the global superpower, which is okay. I don't really care. I just want all the Americas. So, they'll probably end up going to war. If the UK and the Germans can duke it out, I mean, Germany's only second place, but the UK is first place. Even though I did tab over to the UK's military, they're mostly using tons of battleships. Like, they have like 40 battleships to prop up their number. So, of the military score. So, it is what it is. The Germans could probably... Probably take on the Russians? No, the Germans and the Russians are allying. They could probably just stomp the Austro-Hungarians. France is just kind of hanging out. But, regardless. Regardless. We are heading down to Peru. And we're going to have a good time down there. That's what we want. A good time. Because, why not? We like good times, right? And we can make Chile a puppet. A glorious puppet. A lovely puppet. And we've got a little bit of money. I think I expanded some of these factories. No, I built up some naval ports because, well, things are expensive. We need to go to war by February. That would be a very nice thing to do. And, well, a good chunk of our population can read. So, we definitely, 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 definitely have to keep an eye on the situation because that could prove to be very useful for us. The last time we did also went to war with Venezuela, in which they like us not very much, though. They don't really like us too much. That's okay. Venezuela will like us by the time we're done with them in this campaign. Eh, we are patriots and, of course, going to fight for a country, even though we might be socialists, but that's okay. They, don't, they might not like the military, but it is what it is. They just won the, the election. Commun oh, Communist Party, they do have a plan economy. That's not bad. Atheism, eh, paternalistic, pro-military. They're still pro-military. At this point, even though state capitalism is better, I wouldn't be opposed going communist just because we do get pro-military. I really don't like anti-military. Ah. Administrative efficiency. Very good, my friends. Let's grab some more naval stuff since we are using navies. And if we're playing as America, we get into any major war. We gotta make sure we have a great navy. But anyways, we can do the National Banking Act. While our government has for some time maintained a central bank, some voices within the economic debate have begun arguing in favor of monopolizing the issue, issuing of currency to a strict government prerogative. Proponents argue that this will lead to an increase in economic stability, while opponents see it as a fundamental breach of the freedom of trade. Well, it's probably a good idea to make sure we generally all use one currency, but we lose a little bit, just a tiny bit of money, basically no money, and we get some more efficiency until the end of the game. Nice. But let's also organize our colony. So I'm only going to read one of these. It's basically the same thing, but we're going to organize Cameroon. So it's a large colony in the heart of Africa with a multitude of tribes and languages spoken in its territory. It's hard to pinpoint a main language, and the landscape is quite equally diverse with highlands, jungles, and savannas crisscrossing the colony. Our surveys indicate that there's great potential for cash crops, especially coffee and cotton. Rubber extraction is also another activity that can be of great profit to us. Organizing colonial structure in an American model will allow us to reap the benefits of the new colony and its guide its production for the greater benefit of the United States of America. Get some prestige and production. Now, you can read this if you want, but basically, do we want cotton, coffee, and rubber? Do we want coffee and rubber? Do we want cotton, a little bit of coffee and rubber? Or we don't need to interfere with the natives. We're going to interfere with the natives. Natives. Now, I'm probably going to go with the companies know what best. Even though we're socialists, the companies probably know what is best for that. And we can organize Ubangi Shari. So if you want to read that, go right ahead. But it's basically the same thing. We're going to get some prestige. Now, this place. You get rubber precious goods, coffee, and just a tiny bit of cotton. The American South still produces a good amount of cotton. So we don't need too much cotton. Rubber, precious goods, and coffee... I think overall, let's just go ahead and do the companies know what is best. They want to make a profit, let them make a profit. That'll be fine with us. Ooh, we can organize a Congo. We need more of the Congo to do that, though. Cool. And it is April 1st. Let's get a few more months. We'll lower our 
Oh. Oh, that is not cool. Okay, so I thought they might go to war, but they didn't. Russia is now even a little bit weaker. Hmm, the UK is too strong. They are really just too strong. Oh, no, second in Wait, who's first in industry? Oh, Germany's first industry, first to the pole. The Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first expedition that reaches the North Pole. Cool. So hopefully we go to war with Chile. Take them out. And keep an eye on this, because I really want to take out these guys. Like, they're too strong. They are really too strong. Yeah, I mean, look at that power. I mean, Germany, yeah, they're number one in industry, but... Second in military, but yeah, the UK needs to be taken down a notch. But let's go to war with these guys next month after we've raised maybe our tuition. And by tuition, I mean salaries for our soldiers. Oh, come excited. It was sighted in the sky. Some believing that this is portends for fell times ahead. My bad. I can't English today. Others believe that they are, in fact, pixie fairies floating in the sky. There are also those who believe that this comet is most probably a giant ball of ice floating through the sky and the long tail is created due to energy of the sun. The arguments among the three equally viable theories are stimulating the pursuit of knowledge in our country. Thank God we live in such enlightened times. Keep looking up at the sky. A colonized comet would make a fine satellite. Oh yeah. Can I colonize satellite uh, comets? Can I, can I colonize them? That'd be amazing. You know it's pretty bad when Switzerland wants an alliance. Uh, no thanks, man. Let's go ahead and expand maybe some more factories if possible. It costs quite a bit to do that. Cool. I am trying to... Mm, I do want to have a little bit more liberal support just because I kind of prefer the Republicans over uh, the Socialists. Just because we get pro-military. That would be so nice. I do want to go to war more. I would like to do that. So that's why I'm using the focus for more liberal support. Even though it's not really working that well. Now, let's see. Party map mode. Actually, which I wanted to show you guys this for a while, too. So, we got some more liberal support in New Mexico. They're pretty socialist. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Nevada's pretty socialist as well, as well as this part of Mexico. Even though they're turning pretty liberal, I suppose. There are other parts I suppose I could do, too. Uh, Texas is conservative, liberal. California is turning more socialist. Well, I mean, is this real life? I don't know. Let's go and make these guys a little bit more liberal then. But, what else do we have our focuses? You guys are here. Uh, oh, bureaucrats, nice. Bureaucrats, nice. Anyways, I was thinking about something. No, I can't remember. God dang. Give us one more month. I need to build a bit bigger military. We currently have a population of 70 million people. That's not enough. I need 600 billion people. Look at that immigration. Secular strife. These policies must end? Arkansas? It is only charitable work. Oh, okay, sure. Socialist Party rocked by scandal. Well, all right. Whatever. Costa Rica, Honduras, Argentina. Once we hit the inf go over our infamy limit, like, in the very late game, once we can make a an extreme military, then I'm going to take out all Central America. But then I just, like, just take them over. I can't really build any more guys here, too, so... Kind of sucks. Mm. So, Russia and me and Germany are all allied together. Well, Germany and Russia aren't allied, but, you know, whatever. You guys... Oh, yeah. We also want to stop increasing relations with these guys because we want to go to war with them. We're cordial with them. But let's do this. I know I'm taking a while for me to get to the Chile, but it is what it is. Yeah, just give me one more month. Because we can. How many times, man? How many? How, how many times do you want to rise up? I, I'm giving you everything I can, man. I've given you as many reforms. How much more, you know, things can I give you? Let's see. Anything here in the States? I'm building more fleets. More little task forces, which would be nice. Uh, you guys are doing that. You guys, yeah. You guys are going to be taking care of that. We need one more engineer and infantry. Uh, engineer. And yeah, grab that. Cool. Another army for Oklahoma. And one month. And here we shall go. Ooh, factory cost goes down. We might be at war with Brazil, which wouldn't wouldn't be very good. Can I call my allies in? Everyone will accept. God, I love it. We might as well. German Empire, beautiful. Everyone's beating up on Chile. Not even Brazil. Oh, and it looks like they're going to war with... Alright, sure, why not? I'll be allies with everyone until I'm not. With a smile on my face. Tax efficiency and eh, lose some immigrants, but I don't know. At 70, almost 71 million population, that's not bad. Nope, Puerto Rico, suppress it. I love suppression. Beautiful.
cool, cool, cool. How is Japan doing? They're trying to take out Pyongyang, apparently. Oh, we're allies too! Everyone wants to be our ally. We're just so popular. Oh, I love being American. Excellente. All right, allies, please help me. Help, please help show up. I would greatly appreciate your support. Yeah, let's keep increasing relations with the Venezuelans, the good people. A wave of colonial unrest. The situation will pass. No worries. And oh wait, Japan's fighting too. Nice. You guys have been called. And you're thirteenth place. Wow. Ecuador. Of course you would want to join. Why wouldn't you? Oh, there's a there's a lot of guys around here. I'm not sure if we'd really be able to win here. Hmm. I need another army. Well, let's let them come over here first. And once they're here, I'm going to attack them. Nice. Cool. Anything else? we got romanticism we can do, still do. Evil plants. Eh, we'll do that. Good. You're heading south. I'm heading this way. Let's see what happens. We do have all the army attacks. Chile probably doesn't, but they probably dug in a little bit. Yeah, okay, so we're winning so far, that's good. Factory cost is going down. Come on, come on. Truly tis, cool. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Hawaii. Let's go do that too. So, our relation with the Hawaiian government has borne fruit. They've asked to become a part of our nation. Oh, coffee. Beautiful. The Guano Islands Act? Oh, it'd be peace, huh? That's cool. We build the Titanic too. We need dreadnoughts. Look, oh god, yes, I love this. The Hawaiian Islands, my favorite. Wow, they're pretty socialist too. All right. Oh yeah, and Canada. Hello. Yeah, we want to increase relations with them, but we'll see what happens. Very nice. Yep, you guys kind of hang out. In, am I the one attacking these guys? Yeah, I got some boats down there. See what happens. Maybe I should pull another army down. Oh, there. Yeah, come attack me. Come attack me. See what happens. Especially when we're dug in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're losing quite a few guys. That's not good. Supply range. Good. Fire control. Sure. Please don't make me get another army up. Oh, we're winning. We're winning. Yeah, we have a bigger navy now. Or bigger army, I mean. Nice, we won. Ooh, that was pretty dis pretty disastrous, though, for us. Ooh. How much more do we need to get to... Oh, we're not that close yet. That's fine. I'm going to... Oh, the Russians have arrived. All right, so our allies have showed up. Thanks for showing up, guys. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I wish I could spend more on my military. Doesn't feel American if I can't spend more on my military, to be honest with you. Hmm. Cool, Peru's in. Should have been in from the beginning. Why are our relations just deteriorating, deteriorating now? Peace relations. Of course you'll accept. Of course, nice. More organization, perhaps. Make sure we got more infantry in here. Mechanized mining, good. Oh, the Japanese have shown up. Cool. Looks like we're on the cusp of maybe another baby boom, perhaps. More brigade. Oh, more brigades, please. And we killed off nine thousand of them. Very good. Oh, look at that. Now that's beautiful. How are the ships looking? Eh, slightly damaged. Just slight damage. Maybe it'll tear on a part of the ship. Good. There we go. Now that's the America I know. Alright, so you guys are looking pretty weak. Come on down here to David, and you guys... Well, you guys can just probably just stay there. No attrition, and the Guano Islands Act. So, whenever a citizen of the United States discovers a deposit of guano on any island, rock, or key, now within the lawful jurisdiction of any other government, and not occupied by the citizens of any other government, and takes peaceable possession thereof, and occupies the same, such island, rock, or key, may, at the discretion of the president, be considered as appertaining to the United States of America. A recent proposal came to our upper house that would allow us to claim some islands to exploit guano. With a few fiscal incentives, we could incentivize some of our citizens to go explore these lands and islands, working in guano deposits in the Pacific and claiming these islands for the government of the U.S. Ah, yes. 
What a great time. Cool. It's Chile. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Of course. Ah. Uh, now that's American South America Paraguay. Close enough. What's the supply like down here? Eh, it's not bad. We can keep that army down there. They're not feeling great, but that's okay. Costa Rica, Argentina. Let's be at peace for a little bit of time. You guys looking pretty good, pretty tasty. Is it time for Mexico yet? We have a truce with them. Hmm. Until, until next year. So let's spend some time. Watch the world burn probably a little bit more. We've lost effects of war. That's good. That's a thick Lithuania. So, end of the Sioux Wars. Sitting Bull and his braves have surrendered and the Sioux have been defeated. While there will be future battles and tribes and ourselves, the sharp edge of the Sioux nation has been now dulled. I think I read this yesterday. Never again will the Sioux be able to muster a force of an even comparable size. And the Sioux nation's future will be resigned to the reservations. It is with some sense of mourning that we see the passing of this one great nation, was once a great nation, into the history books of our young republic. Ah, oh, great. Conveyor belts? Heck yeah. Now, don't go to Brazil. You want to come to the States. Not even Canada. The States. 4,000 immigrants a day? Amazing. I know. Look at that money. Holy crudderinos. Let's continue improving relations with all our lovely allies. Oh, we need to get an alliance with you guys. Colombia loves us. Ecuador is kind of... Oh, of course. Yeah, you gotta be, we gotta be allies. We gotta be buds. Whether you like it or not, we're gonna be buds. Nice. Intervene eventually in that area. Form an alliance. Of course, my friends. We are all friends here. All friends. Oh, and now they want more reforms. Alright, so what do they want? They want 10%. Want good safety regulations. 5% for that. And 9%. Oh. Oh. Those people. That's alright, though. You guys are looking okay? Come on back up to David, probably, I suppose. That'd be fine. How is this another test force? Not bad. Five battleships, a couple cruisers. Not terrible. You guys come up to Boston. And, ooh, that's not looking good for that. Oh, also, we gotta get rid of these monitors and stuff like this. I wish I could sell them away, but whatever. Fr I'm still using frigates? Holy cow. There you go. Troop ships. That hurt. That not quite too much. Okay. Let's see. Cruisers. One, two, three. I... Oh, that's going to put us over that limit just by a little bit. That should be okay. This is going to be a tiny little task force. Holy cow. Let's continue improving this as much as possible. That's a case. Did I lower taxes yet? Open up everything. There we go. Expedition returns without success. We should try again. That's okay. So I could probably lower the taxes of these guys maybe a little bit more. Lower the the, the army spending maybe a little bit as well. That'd be kind of good. That's 1899. I think there's... Oh, yeah. There are more... Oh, railroads. Economic responsibility, management strategy. This looks all super good, but railroads are where it's at. Oh, look at that. Now we're third in the world for military. Oh, we're third? Probably because of the ships. It seemed a little too crazy. That's okay. It's We're almost in the next century. Almost. Almost. A little bit of money there. A little bit of money there. Yeah, Canada is Canada. Needs a couple more forts in places, just in case we get invaded, because we are going to probably get invaded eventually. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, that consciousness is just skyrocketing. Holy cow, attend the second of the games? Of course! Of course we will! Ah, we've integrated Ciudad area. That part of Mexico. First to the pole, we should outfit an expedition. Um. No, well, good luck with that. I have a 60,000 stack right there, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Losing a little bit of money, but, you know, I'm not taxing people as much as before. Except poor people. I love taxing poor people. Good, good, good. Naval organization. Oh! Maybe I should be paying a little bit more attention to these guys down here. Hmm. Well then. I was not expecting... Oh, they're just marching around, waiting for... They're just taunting us, waiting for someone to come over here. Oh, Hispaniola. Tensions in Durango? Of course not. I don't care. Very good. We're gonna liberate this place from all the likes of these... Weird socialist, like, oh, just in tomb. Discovered we've done that before. We'll just do that. Oh, 
Let's see. Low subsidies. Good pensions. Oh, god dang it. I suppose so. So be it. Everyone has a good life here when they come here. A great life. Nice. Population is about the same as Germany, huh? We need more population. More, 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 more. Spain doesn't care for us. France really likes us. The UK doesn't really care for us, which is fine. I don't really care about them. The Russians are okay, though. The Russians are okay. I want to see the next crisis, because we really need to get the UK just kaboomed. I'm not sure how to say it, except kaboomed. Alright. Get over here. Nice. We just keep getting better and better tax efficiency. I love it. I love tax efficiency. Beautiful. Just keep making more money, guys. It's the American thing to do. Ooh, do they have some rebels? Oh, yeah. Socialists. Up, up. Hey, look. Socialists. Hmm. Seems like a problem for every country. Get some forts here. We want people to waste as much as many lives on trying to siege down Africa as possible when I'm not even going to defend it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. More railroads. Oh, I wanted to spend all my money on something, man. Uh, railroad simulator. I love it. Let's go and grab economic responsibility, factory cost management. Yeah, about the same. Nice. All right, well, it's that time again. Time for railroads. Cuba, yes. Even Haiti, or I should, I should really say Hispaniola. Uh, Mexico, yes. Or uh, America, America. This is a Mexico, my friends. This is, this is America. Why am I doing Mexico? America first. Because America, yes. And Happy New Year, my friends. We have just got ourselves into the 20th century. I can't wait to see what type of great century this will hold for us. Hopefully expansion. Maybe not another Mormon uprising, please. I think we've had enough of those. They just come over here with riding bikes and books of Mormon throwing them at us. Hmm. Cool. Improve the infrastructure. Maybe some of these places up here. Actually, yeah, just... Wow, Indiana has a really good outline of itself right now. Oh, well, now they don't. Yeah, oh, good. I don't care. I just want to build railroads up as fast as possible. West Virginia, where are your railroads? New no one wants to invest in New Jersey. Wow. But I'll do it for them. Arkansas, I can kind of say the same thing about them, too. Now, we're not making a ton of money, but that's okay. Hopefully... Oh, oh, boy. Hold on. Why do you need military access through my lands, UK? What are you doing? The Boer... Wait, you want... What? You only find the Boers and you want military access. You have a lot of ships. What the heck? Yeah, most of the world loves us. I love it. Well, enough of the world loves us. Why don't you want an alliance? Buddies. Guys. We're all in this together. And uh, no, I'm not gonna sing that song. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Cool. Ah, uh, Colorado. Never been. Hopefully we go someday. Nebraska, never been. I hear they have a lot of corn over there. Suppression, of course. Nice. Ah, uh, no forts in North Dakota. Oh, who do even want to siege down North Dakota? It'd be I guess it wouldn't be impossible, but there's so much land in North Dakota. Never been though. Been to South Dakota. Very nice place. Oh, look at this. It's 1900. We finally got it, and it's time to get some gas. Oh, uh, let's see. Transvaal becomes a puppet. All right, 90% edumacation. Oh, yeah, we don't want to forget about these areas. These are very, very important areas here. All right, very nice. Oh, French Madagascar's got quite a few socialists there. Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh, we have a task force here, too. That's actually probably a smart thing to do, putting a task force in Vietnam. You never know what the Vietnamese might end up doing. No, thank you. Excellent. I'm not sure what was excellent about that, but I didn't read. Oh, well. Wow. Most places are already expanding. Love it. We still got so much money. Truly it is. Open it up. Subsidize it, because we can. Build, build, build. We need a bigger industry, even if it doesn't make sense. Build. Oh, actually, what is that? Steamers, yeah. That's, I think, pretty important. Still got plenty of money. Dutch Niger, French Africa. Hmm. Congo. Oh, wow, they are... 
I've never seen a place more diverse than Congo Free State. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, Africa's a mess. Well, Congo is at least. Holy cow. Chile. What is good Chile? The race for fertilizers, yes. Sulfur, ah. Good oh wait, Tampa's got... I never knew... Uh, well, I guess. I used to live in this area. There was some circle down here in the Houston area, too, but... I guess that makes some sort of sense, yeah. Sulfur. Machine parts. Steamers. Now, oh, what thing used sulfur? Explosives, right? No. Fertilizer. There we go. Very nice. Very good. Always help out... Oh. Oh, no. Wait, why do you have a... Mmm, that's probably not worth investing into, but whatever. Alright, so... Socialism got just a little bit more reactionary, got a little bit more support. Alright, well, whatever. Planes, yes, please. Good. More rails mean potentially more capitalists to export goods and stuff like that. So far, we're... Th oh, buddy boy. Mmm, time to do what I do best. You know what? Hmm... Just do that. I know I made 21 because I think one of them goes to Hispaniola, so. Oh. Oh, oh, look at the ships we can make now. Good. Let's get. Maybe. I want to build a dreadnought so badly, but we, we can't. Uh, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six of those guys. 6, 7, 5 more. There we go. They'll come right there to Norfolk. People have died. What else is new? Orange. And they could probably form South Africa. Oh, German Namibia is there. That's kind of cool. Let's continue increasing your relations with the Chileans because they're good people. Canada. Increase relations because we can. Nice. Increase relations again. El Salvador, I would love to, but not right now. Oh, Mata Moros as a core. Awesome. Benefits exploited. And if you want to read this, go right ahead. Get rid of the corrupt, acceptable pensions. We are no hurry. That seems like a very prestigious option. Didn't feel like reading that one, but you know, whatever. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen that one yet either. So, Guatemala, Costa Rica. Hmm. I really want to see that next Great War. I want to see the Great War happen. We have to get to the Great War. If I justify on someone, will that get us to the Great War? Can Russia have some more Flashpoint or the Ottomans? Nice. We'll hopefully get some gas attack. Let's grab some research points and then mass politics and social alienation. This is the part of the game where things get super interesting. Oh, wow. 54. That's not enough. We're making more, maybe? You're good. Good. Oh, we haven't even have it in Hawaii. Yeah, probably not an engineer there. If anything, you should probably build up this to be a Yankee guard. Oh, yeah. And instead of doing that in Panama, uh, you can probably stop doing it in probably. U now we've been doing Utah not long enough. New Mexico, we've been doing that for in New Mexico for long enough. Uh, how is this looking? Let's see, Hispaniola, Hispaniola is looking pretty good. We get some more forts. Man, we're making so much money. I love it so much. You guys, you might as well come here. That's fine. Good. We're still socialist, which is fine. We can probably get rid of that. There you go. A little better. Chile, would you, what would you like to do? Of course, increased relations. Good. Build, oh, I have not built any forts since... Ah, this place has actually like three tiles here, so... Now we good. Yeah, there you go. Do that as well. Oh, four tiles. One, two, three, four. Holy cow. That is... A little nuts, not gonna lie. A little nuts. Anti-rationalism sounds like a great ideology or idea. Good. Anything else? More forts. You never know if the Canadians are going to see just down. You never know. Good. Ah, our athletes are victorious. We finally had that. Michigan. Let's see. Colonial archaeology. Just display the bobble somewhere. Now, this will teach future generations about the common heritage of mankind. I like that. Tutankhamun's tomb. All right, well... Good for you, Guatemala. Better pay their debts. That's only a... Cast his belly for repaying debts. That's not like a puppet one. 
And Mexico entered an alliance with them. Oh wait, we want to go to war with Mexico. I forgot about that. How could I forget about the greatest American thing to do? Wait, did I just get a acquire state? God, please don't do that to me, please. Come to Tampico. Nice. Good. Not bad. Maybe grab one more troop ship for you. Uh, we'll do it right there. Eugene. And make more task forces. Which would be a great thing. Ah, looking pretty good right there. Oh, that's a little bit too much artillery, to be honest with you. Hold on, what? That was a picture. The year of abundance. Here is the best pastures in the world. For a lean beast grows fat here in ten days, while game of every sort abounds. There are great quantities of sheep of huge size amid sublime plains and fine fields that yield bountiful harvests of wheat and every other kind of grain. 1902 was an especially bountiful year with excellent climate and rainfall, making the latest harvest something to behold. The effects of this perfect climate will be felt for a while and translate to higher agricultural output. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Yes, give me your immigrants. I love immigrants. 3,000 a day. Just. Four, oh, that we hit 4,000. You know what? Why am I not surprised that uh, the Germans founded fascism? Well, then again, it should be Italians, but that's okay. Are looking to get a seat in the upper house. Okay, uh, Germany, you still have the monarchy. Yeah, not in the Great War, but a vit viticultural association has swarmed in one of our states in opposition to perceived ex excesses of teetotalers, to teetotalers and temperance activists. Dedicated to the preservation of what they call the rich American cultural heritage expressed in their traditions and rituals surrounding alcohol, the Viticultural Association opposes all thoughts of prohibition and instead advocates responsible drinking. Where do I sign up? Oh, sure. Sure, why not? Sure. So right now, I'm really just waiting to get more population. Maybe we'll get some more guys here in the military. Get more task forces because we're going to need a big old navy when we're, where we are going. Alright, let's build another one up. Let's see. What I like to do for now in this campaign is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those big boys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then flush it out with <clears throat> maybe not 27 of these guys. We want to get down to 30, maybe. Bop. And bop. There you go. This costs us some money, but we're America. We're pretty wealthy. Pretty darn wealthy. And I love it. Ah, oh, we can gas people. I love that so much. <sighs> Pride and joy. So we really need two more artillery, and it looks like we might not need to do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Give just a few days. Just a few days. Give me a few days. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> we were discovered. That's okay. And we got some research points. Woo! Mass politics. Oh, education efficiency would be very nice. The police state. That sounds like fun. We're going to social alienation to get even more education. For the people. Supposedly. And for this... At this point in the game... Oh, new political party. The Silver Legion. Is this, oh, hold on. Is this Kaiserreich? But... Oh, oh, Germany, what have you done? The Third German-French War of Honor. Oh, do I fight the French? Technically, I do want their colonies, but I am going to go to war with Mexico. If we end up fighting the French, if Germany does that, they are... Oh, yeah, we're probably going to win the war, so we're going to go in. I'm still going to go to war with Mexico. we have got to raise this up because I want Germany to have absolutely no problem trying to fight the UK. That's pretty much my biggest deal here. We need the strongest Germany possible to help beat up the UK... Maybe even just beat up the Navy. That's really the main goal. Um, we're over there. I wonder if we can send these guys. Oh, actually, let's make sure we get enough spending for that. Raise taxes just a little bit more. Yeah, we covered it. Good. Um, it's the beginning of the month. Morocco better pay its debts, mechanize money. I'm going to move our guys out of here soon enough. We've got a ooh, we're war with Portugal. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's do some of that too. A couple of shippies here. We could probably, yeah, give me just one more month. Just, just one more month. I want to take over their islands. I really want little pieces of territory here. Come on. We're going to land over here. Cool. Hopefully, we don't die on the way over there. 
And let's increase relations with these guys one more time. Uh, call, let's call in all our allies. That'd be good. Good. Everyone wants to go to war, right? Everyone does. Nice. Calling all our allies in. And also, I didn't realize, but we do own St. Thomas. Very cool. Afro Caribbean, some Japanese people down here too. Very good, very good. And let us increase relations. Oh, the Germans are doing okay. Not with you guys. Spain? Sure, why not Spain? Yeah. Portugal. Hmm. So you guys are showing up. Yep, we're heading over there. Doing okay. And I need I need really ne need another army up here. You guys, check out what's over here. They do have a little thing over here. I don't know how big the French Navy is. I kind of want to see if I can beat them up, though. Wow. Germany, you are... Wowzers. Mission to the Empire of Mexico, that's okay. Now we good, man. Alright, what do we have around here? Straight to the Dover? No ships. What the... We're at peace! What happened? What the... Uh, okay. Well, that was a fast war. Holy crudderinos. Uh, Guadalupe. I mean... Humiliate France, dismantle constructions in Greek Thessaly. That's it. Well, then. You know what? Okay, well, I guess we'll end the episode here. It's pretty bad when the Belgians want to ally us, but that's okay. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Tomorrow, we'll probably end up in a great war. At least in a war against Mexico, Mexico, but like I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we have a good time in paradise. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.